Okay, so this tutorial is going to show you how to use this really cool feature in on the in the contacts. If you if you're on the contact screen and you hit the hard menu on your phone, you see this little pop up, and you see this one that says Harvest Mode. You turn that on, and this is really cool. And then you can send an email to the phone, and it will parse out the phone number that's in the body of the email and send an auto response. So I'm going to lead you through each step in figuring out what your phone's email is and how to send to that email from an outside source. Okay, so first off, what you do is you go to your normal text messaging app and let's say you're going to you have to send it to an actual email. So you're using SMS to send to an email. So I'm sending to David at Business Texter and I'm going to say testing. I'm going to hit send. And see right here where it says MMS? Um, that tells you that when the email receives it, it's going to re receive it as an email. MMS not the same as SMS. So we're going to go to my email, go to Gmail, we're going to check it. And we can see right here, okay, see testing. But see up here, see it says, you know, the phone number at mms.att.net. Um, so we know what that my phone's um, email is. But each carrier is a little different. With AT&T, you're going to want to change that when you actually send to it from MMS to TXT. What that means is that it's just text rather than multimedia. So it's not a video or a song or audio. And that way the app will receive it as a real SMS. So we're going to go ahead and reply. should show up any second. So you can see up here at the top, it was David to a business texter, right? So it says message size, it says downloading, it shows um, testing. And then you can see it showed up in, in the notifications. See how it received it as an MMS? Um, each carrier has a different situation. I'm just gonna show you how to use AT&T. So we're gonna go ahead and copy this. But this time when we send to it, we're going to change that. And we're going to create a new, a new email. So you can see here, but we're going to change this right here to TXT. We're going to say lead, and let's call this web lead. So we let's pretend this was from um, a lead we got on the website, and we want the website to send the information to the app. So we see web lead here, and let's just put in a phone number so we can see. So in the body of the email right here, we're sending a phone number. So pretend uh, a user put a, their phone number in a form on the website. It sent that person's phone number to your to the app through your your email with that person's phone number right here in the body. Um, but we're going to go ahead and save this as a draft because we're going to come back and I'm going to show you something. So let's go back to the app. Let's get it prepared by creating an auto response. So we're going to open this here and we're going to add a new one and we're going to call it web lead. Okay. So we've got to make sure we click this show button and in the keyword box, we're going to just put the word lead. So if it receives, 
a text message with the word lead in it, it's going to send this auto response. So we're going to just say auto response test. And we're going to turn this off. We're going to make sure this is on. Make sure this checkbox is on or, or it's not on. All right. So we're going to go back to the email. We're going to send that draft. And you're going to see that the app is going to parse that information out and send an actual text message rather than email to text message. So you can see in app statistics, we don't have much here. Let's go back to email. And we're going to actually send this now. Okay, so five hundred. So it's the phone number at sixty dot eighteen dot net. Hit send. I'm gonna go back to the app so we can watch what's happening live. It might take a few seconds. All right, so let's go to app statistics. We can see it shows here in group that one web lead was sent. You see that right here? We go to our text messaging app and we can see, yes, we received an app, I mean, a, a text message from the email, which is this one. But you see how the number 14000, that's AT&T's um, number that they're sending from. And it's a real text message. And whatever that number is, it's going to change every time, so you can't um, do anything with that. But you can see right here, right here at the bottom, we sent a real text to ourselves. So it pulled that phone number right here that's showing out of the body of the email. So it didn't respond to the email. It pulled the phone number out of the body of the email and then sent that auto response to that phone number, which is really, really useful because there's a lead system on the web where you can get an email or you can get some type of email for the lead. If you use the, your, your phone's email to SMS responder, then you can integrate those websites or those web leads with this autoresponder. And that's great because now, let's say we had some auto follow-up set up. You know, automatically that person goes into the queue to start receiving those. If there's any scheduled ones set up, you can receive those. So anytime you want to send a one-time blast in the future, that person's phone number is in there. And they're in there um, based on the auto response they triggered. So you can see right here, Webly, boom. I could send a blast out right now to all the people who I've received from web leads. So that's how you integrate internet web leads with BizTexter. So we hope this was helpful, and we hope you have a great day. Thank you so much.